Thanks for joining us at this 11 o'clock hour. Our Chief Meteorologist Dan Sianca is here with your forecast. Dan, how are things looking like, especially heading into the next day? Well, okay. So got, here's Break the it good, down. Here's the good news. Here's the good news. We made it through this storm system without too much consternation. Now we had a few issues, sir. Sure, excuse me. A little bit of, of flooding in a few areas. We had a couple of power outages here and there, but nothing too crazy. And there's nothing crazy in the seven day forecast either. So I know a lot of folks are kind of tired of crazy. So that's the good news I have for you. The bad news is it's not going to be warm anytime soon and it's still going to rain at times. So, okay, here you go. We got all the good news and the bad news in. A live look from Domenico's on the wharf right now showing that it's nighttime. Our position on the earth here in, well, coastal California has rotated away from the sun. So we are no longer receiving its rays of light. That's how it works at night sometimes for us. And that is where we are standing tonight. And uh, with that said, we still have some weather going on out there, but it's mostly just some lighter showers. And again, we did mention there's a flood advisory for portions of western Santa Cruz County. This is a look at our sunset from Salinas tonight. I stood outside for a while just trying to see if we'd get a little color. We got a little splash on one cloud. I think it was worth it hanging out outside. It wasn't warm. Temperatures were in the 50s. In fact, right across the street from our station is the airport in Salinas, where the uh, METAR site there said we got to 57 degrees. So that's pretty cool, 57 degrees, uh, 56 in uh, Monterey, 56 in Hollister, lots of mid 50s. That's about where we were. It was very homogenous for the most part today. And here's some rainfall totals for area population centers, if you will. We got higher amounts in the mountains, three to four inches in the Santa Lucia's in some instances, and in the Santa Cruz Mountains, a few spots in that three inch range. But Watsonville, just over an inch. Salinas, not too bad. Hollister, just shy of an inch. Monterey, a little over three quarters of an inch. Santa Cruz, not as much. Solid at about a half an inch of rain with this particular system. We'll talk about, I think, once it stops raining a little bit and we're still adding things up, we'll take a look at a recap on how much we've seen so far this season. Uh, I'll be in this weekend. We're still on a weird schedule until our new person starts. Yes, we finally have a third member of our weather team. We made it through the entire storm season. Shorthanded. Thank you to our news director. He's been helping fill in while we've been searching for that right person and we found them. So you'll get to meet that person pretty soon. So get excited about that. Either way, temperatures right now in the 40s, a few spots in the 30s in the higher elevations and Santa Rita peak of 5,000 feet at 28 degrees. So it is cold up top and it has been snowing above 3,000 feet today. In fact, a few folks have reported snowflakes even a little bit lower. And if we do have any additional showers overnight, which there will be a few of, some of those snowflakes may make it down to 2,500, 2,000 feet. It's cold enough for it. Just don't expect much in the way of covering. Temperatures overnight down into the low 40s for most coastal cities, so it'll be cool. And as we mentioned, we still have a few showers rotating around out there. But the center of circulation from this low pressure center is moving southward. So instead of showers rolling on shore, we'll be on the north side of the low, which means we'll have more of a northeasterly trajectory for most everything. So instead of onshore flow, will be more offshore flow, which is typically a little bit drier and will be a little bit less likely to produce showers. We still could have a few overnight as the low moves to the south, and I do expect a few, but it, it won't be as numerous as they were earlier today. Futurecast does kind of show this scenario playing out. Watch what happens as we head into the early morning hours. You see one little shower pop up over the bay and move over the peninsula. Now that may not happen exactly like that, but a few showers will pop up. They'll move from north to south overnight instead of from west to east. A little bit of a direction change for us. Then we head into the day Thursday. We'll start off the day with a little patchy fog and low cloud cover. We'll be partly cloudy during the afternoon. We'll see bubbly clouds over the hills as we head into the mid to late afternoon. And a few of those bubbly clouds may make a few raindrops, especially in those far eastern hills. The model showing some over the, uh, the Diablo range, but it's possible we may see a shower over the gap range, maybe the eastern Santa Cruz Mountains, perhaps over the Santa Lucia's tomorrow, but a few mountain showers in the forecast tomorrow. Should avoid most population centers, but it's possible one may drift off the hills and give you a brief shower. I wouldn't plan on it being a wet day tomorrow, though. If you get a raindrop, you'll be lucky. Go buy a lottery ticket, just one. Don't spend your life savings. You have to give yourself a chance, I suppose, but you know, you don't want to go broke in the process. Either way, temperatures not warm tomorrow. We'll be on the north side of this low. It's cold low. While we will warm up a few degrees from today, we won't warm up many degrees. 57 in Santa Cruz, mid 50s in the Santa Cruz Mountain Valleys, low 50s up on the higher elevations. Over to the east shore of the bay, upper 50s to around 60. We'll get to 59 in Salinas and Hollister tomorrow, 57 in Watsonville. 
And 58 in Gilroy over to the Monterey Peninsula. Butterfly Town in the mid 50s tomorrow. 57 in Monterey and Seaside at 56. Farther south, we'll talk about some more 50s and even a few spots sliding on into the 60s. Soledad, Greenfield, and King City. And we'll throw Bradley in there as well. Maybe even Cabo San Ardo getting into the 60s tomorrow. Favorite vacation spot of mine. Over the next seven days, temperatures staying somewhat cool. We should be in the mid 60s this time of year on the coast. We won't get there on any of the next seven days. With that said, for the most part, tomorrow dry, Friday dry, Saturday dry during the day. A weak system will come in overnight Saturday into Sunday and could bring a couple of light showers. I wouldn't worry too much about that. It's more of a lawn watering event than anything else and, and mostly will be in the north. I don't see, I think we'll see much with that system. We have a better chance of rain with that Monday to Tuesday system. That one will be cold and blustery, but not super wet. We'll have a few showers, I think, both of those days. I think the wind and the cold air will be the bigger story with that event, though. So we'll keep an eye on that for you. Inland areas, you should be in the upper 60s this time of year. You're not going to get close to that. So cool forecast for the next seven days. Mornings will be cold. Afternoons will be cool. We'll have some dry days in there. No big rain events, but a couple of smaller events worth watching, and we'll keep you up to date on them. All right, thanks so much for that, Dan.